Raven? Possibly Livewire. She's always known to cause trouble with electricity. Or perhaps too many machines plugged into the exact electrical circuit. Every so often, too many household items are plugged into the exact same outlet, which can overload the circuit and cause a fire. Not only that, but we should always make sure that electrical wires are in top condition. Speaking of which, do you think this plug is A-OK? -okay? Now you're getting the hang of it, Star. You see, frayed cords or loose plugs are dangerous shock hazards. By following the instructions about electricity depending on their standards, we'll be sure to make life a lot easier and a lot safer, too. Funny you should mention that! This electrical cord is just right to light up the Christmas tree! And what better way to spread some holiday cheer than with a cartoon starring Courage the Cowardly Dog? Oh boy, Christmas Eve! Aren't you excited for tomorrow, Eustace? Eh, big deal. I mean, what do you expect, Muriel? Why, jolly old Saint Nicholas never gets me anything for Christmas every year. He must have thought I was a real grouch. The only times when I actually do get gifts during the holidays, they always have to come from that stupid dog. Well, Eustace, our courage can be kind-hearted and could never hurt a fly. What you need is a little cheering up to do. Like, how about the three of us get a good night's sleep? <laughs> a good night indeed, stupid dog. Well, you may wear a sour frown on your face now, but just you wait, Mr. Eustace Bag. Just you wait till the friends and families begin to come along. Ah, uh, you'll know what Christmas means before very long. Hey, looks like it must be time for my favorite TV program. What's up, Doc? Oh, how lovely. The first guests have arrived. Why don't you come in, lads? There's no need to be sheepish. Can we get you anything? Well, uh, perhaps some carrot pie ought to bring the holiday spirit to our stomachs. Uh, confidentially, ma'am, I like carrots. <laughs> you can't argue with that logic. Well, if you're looking for carrot pie, it's in the refrigerator in the kitchen. Eh, thank you very much, Doc. I knew you wouldn't leave us disappointed. Season's greetings, citizens, and a happy new year. Oh, come on in, ladies. This is an honor. Say, Doc, this carrot pie is the bomb. You ought to try it. Oh, it sure is an honor to meet you, ma'am. Positively. Uh, would you like to come this way? Sure, I'd be glad to. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, uh, got a TV in this house? Yeah. 
are nuts. Darned old fireplace. What's going on here? <laughs> Happy New Year! But it's not even New Year's yet! Well, why wouldn't it be? It's Christmas time! Oh, yeah. Let's get this party started! Hey man, what a delightful residence you got here! <sighs> you know, dog, I guess I better go check the fridge. Guess I haven't had anything to eat in a while. Hey! That's my blueberry pie! Give me back my pastry, you barf sack! Go call me a barf sack! Now you listen to me, Tiny. If you so much as scowl at my little brother or any other guy in this farmhouse and I hear about it, I'm coming to look for you. Now beat it! Now don't worry me lads, Grub will soon be ready before you know it. Way to behave in front of our guests. Very well, Roadrunner. If you don't want to become my dinner this Christmas Eve, then I'm gonna have to raise the stakes even higher. Mimi. Watch, huh? Happy Christmas, my simple friends. Well, now that we've got that bit of pointlessness out of the way, let's see what's on the television today. I am way ahead of you, Mr. Coyote, because I may have a great idea. Oh, would you look at that? It's like you really know me. Well, happy holidays, folks. Good night. <laughs>